Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to look at the WaveShare robot arm for Microbit. So let's um, walk through this um, mind map and have a look at it. So I'll just expand the description so you can see what it looks like in detail here. Uh, what it is, it's a four degree of freedom robot arm. And it costs um, 50 US dollars from the WaveShare website in China. And it's a very solid construction. So it's not plastic, everything's metal. And for communications, you can use this with another micro bit or uh, Bluetooth on your um, uh, smartphone and control it remotely. So as an overview, uh, you get it in a kit that comes with a servo um, driver hat or shield, and um, it has four metal gear servos. And um, just having a look at it, um, it's I2C controlled, but you don't have access to the I2C uh, pins unless you solder those in uh, yourself. So that's one of the uh, disadvantages of the kit, uh, particularly if you want to add additional um, um, sensors. It has a good range. 16 servos can be added, and it's using pulse width modulation uh, with a 12-bit resolution. So you've got plenty of uh, control over that, which is pretty good. It um, has a 5-volt regulator on board, and uh, you can add additional power uh, so you don't have to uh, rely on using the microbit power um, you can either use a usb connection or a separate dc volt connection okay so um, we might look at the um, arm construction um, and then uh, we can have a greater detail at the moment on it Okay, so hardware-wise, you get everything in the kit. It comes like this, and you've got to spend um, perhaps um, a couple of hours, perhaps more than that, because it does use very small screws uh, to um, assemble it. Software-wise, I'm going to use um, Microsoft Make Code and just use the servo uh, extensions for that. So uh, let's have a look at a couple of projects that I've been working on. And the latest one is to help um, check the uh, zero position. So um, just looking at, this is my desktop version. So right on the front here, we've got the um, microbit version. And on the back, we've got the uh, Raspberry Pi version. So you can see the microbit, um, we're just turning that round on the photos and the base servo drive is a much bigger one so uh, the other ones are smaller but you get four of them all together so the objective of my program is to um, select the servos and uh, trace them through individually just make sure that the um, motors are not overheating um, Okay, so um, I'm going to scan. When I press button A, I'm going to increment the angle by five um, degrees. If I press button B, I'll decrement it. And if I press A and B together, I'm going to increase the servo number. So what I'm interested in is finding the range in which each of the servos um, operates in this configuration. So um, we'll have a look. We've got... Um, a uh, set of servos. This is my construction. And um, partly what I'm doing is to um, test the program, I test the servos as I'm constructing it. So you can see some of my construction photos there. And for the parts, I'm using uh, Microbit and the WaveShare robot kit. And uh, here's my software. We might go across and have a look at that in detail before we look at a. Um, uh, performance uh, test on the desktop. So uh, if I move across, this is my software. And um, the results go on the USB port. So if I actually look at the data streaming in, I'm actually collecting 
uh, information at the moment from the servo number that I'm currently controlling and the angle, the servo angle. And if I press button A, I'm going to increase that by five. So if I keep on increasing button by five, you'll see the graph going up gradually. And that's the angle uh, for our uh, servo number three. If I want to change the servo number, I just go back to uh, from three to zero. So we're on th uh, and uh, what I'll do is increase that. So we're on 40 now for servo number one. Okay, so uh, we'll move back and have a walk through the software. Not much in the software. Uh, I modified a demonstration program from Waveshare, and um, this allows me to uh, select uh, one of four servo motors and um, analyze its range um, in terms of the uh, angles that it can uh, achieve. So uh, let's move and have a look at it. Right at the start, we move across, uh, move our um, other one out of the road. And um, this is SK4 for version 4. The steps at the beginning are zero. Uh, the maximum number of servos is three, and I set it at zero. The maximum angle is 180, and the minimum angle is minus 180. And we start off with the servo angle of zero. So when we press button B, we're decrementing that um, angle. And um, when we press button A, we're increasing it. Then we just go through a loop and scan that, depending on whether the buttons are being pressed. And um, once we've selected the, the angle, uh, we use the servo number and the angle to um, uh, change the uh, servo um, position uh, using this command here. Then we write both of those uh, parameters onto our uh, USB or serial port. And when we press button A and B together, uh, we increase the servo number and we just cycle through that. Okay, so that's the uh, software. Overall, we've um, achieved this range, the maximum angles with all the different servos. And uh, the only thing that, the only issue that I've had that the um, one of the uh, motors tends to get a bit, a bit hot after about five minutes, although it's not, it's okay now. So if you're interested in, in this, uh, Let's have a look. We've got um, uh, some of the references, M-A-N-U-A-L-S, manuals, manuals, uh, hardware, uh, are all available from the Wave Share website. So stay tuned and we'll have a, um, a look at a desktop version. This is the um, Wave Share robot arm for Microbit. And... Um, WaveShare actually has two versions, one for microbit, and the other one uses almost an identical construction, but it's for Raspberry Pi. Now, the microbit, you can see it's been driven by microbit on the front, and um, it's going to use four servo motors. And it does this with a um, microbit uh, board, so the microbit goes on top and the servo drivers are or the servo motors are connected um, to the uh, pins here. And all of that goes on a base, which is similar to this one. So uh, we've got microbit on the front and we've only got one of the four uh, servo motors connected. This is the, um, the big one that drives the base. So um, we might have a look at it. Perhaps it will explain the other parts. Um, we've got um, servo one or servo zero on the bottom and uh, servo one on the side. Uh, servo three, uh, servo two rather, and servo three is driving the, um, the catcher. 
Okay, so um, this is based on the uh, concept of the me arm. So we've got four degrees of freedom uh, working here. And um, the test program which I'm looking at to make sure we've got correct zero positions is controlled with the micro bit. So uh, if we want to increase the, um, the servo number, at the moment it's showing servo zero. And I can um, increment or decrement the um, uh, range the, of the angle by pressing button B. So we might actually have a look at the operation and uh, we'll go through it. So it's now moving to the extreme position for... Now we'll go in the other direction. So you can see the uh, we're moving around the vertical axis and um, you can see that's been monitored on the um, serial uh, monitor and that's in um, increasing over there so you can you can see it over here so we're going to our extreme position at the moment we might go back go back to the zero position We're getting close. We're about um, an angle of 40 at the moment, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 and 0. So this is the 0 position. And so what we'll do now is go to um, the next servo, servo number 1. And we do that by um, pressing A and B together. So we're on servo 1 at the moment, and uh, we'll just increment. So to increment, we press, so we're just gradually incrementing at the moment. So that's uh, servo 1, and uh, we might return that and go to servo 2. So... Um, to go to servo 2, we just press button A and B together. So we're on servo 2. And um, what we're going to do with servo 2 is just press the button. So you can see we're increasing in height with, um, with that uh, command. We'll bring that down. And you can see that as we're... Um, on the serial port, we're uh, increasing that. Okay, so what I'll do is move the uh, robot arm around so you can see the catcher on the front, and that's on servo number four. So we have to press button A and B together. We're on servo three, and if I just press button A, we should be able to see that catcher change. We're um, expanding at the moment so the servo catcher so we just close the catcher and it's closed on zero angle okay and that's the um, wave share robot arm for microbit